Hello, welcome to Daily Sketch. This is Dave Herman, alias Daz, the artist. It's uh, May 11th, 2017 at 2.05. So by 2.15, I will be done with my 10-minute sketch. I've done a little preliminary work here. And um, I've started to create a skull shot glass on the floor of the ocean. <laughs> so now we're going to work it up a little bit. Let's see what we can do. It's just an interesting drawing today. Uh, just something to watch. Um, you know, just sometimes I'm going to do something different every day, and it's hard for me to think of things different every day. So now this is what I've come up with. So we're going to try and make a shot glass out of this in uh, 10 minutes that looks a little more attractive. And right now we're just bringing out some highlights to the glass. I have some liquid in there. Um, you know, I did this in layers, then I saved it without the layers to try and work on it in one file. And see what happens when I manipulate this. This is like a curious event for me. And we're going to see what we get. I'm not even sure how, I, how I'm doing this, to be honest with you. Because when I saved it as a file... Um, Verve has a lot of particular things it does on its own, and you kind of work with those or you start over. <laughs> it's a very mysterious program, even its creator will tell you, because it works with uh, fluid dynamics. And of course, you can manipulate stuff and start over and recreate things, but in 10 minutes, the little 10 minute traps I set up for myself here, <laughs> why I try and do these things, often get me in trouble. So today, I'm slowly bringing this out and what's interesting is as I add white and lighten it it's taking the color below and lightening it like it should and it's making some very interesting effects which was something I wanted I was hoping for because this is a glass shot glass from under the ocean here that we found by a modern civilization, us, fell off a boat or something, who knows, whatever we did. But there it is, it's starting to shape the glass. You can still see some liquid in it, uh, perhaps poured by somebody down in Davy Jones's locker. Now we're making the top of the glass, the opening of the shot glass. I'm really just playing around with this white, as you can see, in a brush one uh, on a lighter level, and then I'm sort of building up by repetitively going over my brush strokes or slowing down and pressing harder to bring this out of the darkness, so to speak. And I'm, I'm digging the effect. I mean, I'm, it's an experiment. A lot of things I do are. Uh, they're not finished products. They don't have, you know, the thing about this stuff is you make lots of mistakes learning and then you got to try and capitalize on some of these mistakes, figure out a way to apply, uh, what you're learning. So that's kind of what's going on here. Now we're going to do a little bit on the inside of this cup to separate the liquid so we can see the back of the glass. We got that going. And let me save this just to make sure we don't lose what's going on because I'm digging it. Okay. It's very cool. And now we're going to uh, play with the liquid inside that glass a little bit. Let's see if we can get to a yellowy light kind of and do some enhancements 
to the fluid itself inside there. And to uh, lighten it up, like lights getting into the eyes and stuff like that. Let's, let's see if we can do some of that. You might want to, you know, say it has a certain thickness, this glass. And based on that certain thickness, the fluid's only going to go in so far to the edge. So we're doing some of that, too. Uh, and then it would show up by reflections, you know, different ways inside this glass. So, got that going on. Trying to do some crazy stuff. You know, um, rebuild the glass where it might look like it's not quite been figured out by me. Like right in here, you know, we could do that. Shape this eye socket a little on the glass. And, and so I have uh, some think, multiple thinking levels going of the glass itself as a surface, the fluid inside the glass, the reflections on the surface of the glass and the water, and kind of something that we would get as a out of all that, which, you know, it almost looks like you can fake these things with enough credibility <laughs> that looks legit. So I'm certainly attempting to do that. And I'm not quite sure how this is coming out. So let's give this a few minutes. We're almost at the end. We got three minutes left in this video. as I create the fluid inside the glass and work with the reflections inside the glass. And a little bit down at the neck here. It's the floor of the ocean, and it's looking pretty cool. Now we have some light coming in from one angle maybe, which would be, say, over to the left. So I would uh, maybe have a beam of light coming in here. Let's see if we can do this on a layer so we don't mess that up. There we go. See how that illuminates the whole object now. Very cool. Just a little bit more in that eye. Totally looks magical now. And let's put a little bit of white back on the object itself to enhance the glass if we got some time left here. If I can fit in a few strokes. There we go. Just some bright thing like that. And then I would smooth that out a little bit. And this is what, you know, would be some of the final touches on a simple project like this. Where you might have... Uh, you're trying to create that single focus of intensity and then we'll put some on the brow up here for the eye socket to bring that forward out of the glass surface itself and maybe on the lip again the drinking lip right there I'm liking that, and I don't know if I should have that cast right through to the ocean floor. So I'm going to come right back 
We're almost out of time. 